So, I'm here in a pretty miserable dog walking day. There's me, the dog, and two New Year Fitness Drive runners. I've had a chat to them. They're doing pretty good. Come wind, rain or shine, they said they're exercising every day this January. And you've got to give them credit for that. What I want to touch on today is a little bit following off on what we talked about yesterday about doubt. And if you focus too far ahead, you think there's no way I can do this plan. And if you keep it just to that next meal, especially in a, a tough dieting area, you'll normally be able to stick to your plan. But I was talking to this about you know, a client the other day, the whole issue of doubt and belief, that it's not what I really believe in. I've said this before in other videos, that you don't need to believe you're going to be successful. You simply need to do the actions as an experiment almost, rather than putting all this pressure on yourself. Because I know when I was competing for stage last year, the doubts, I was having doubts every day whether I could stick to the diet, which is what I touched on about looking too far ahead. Every day I was thinking, I can't do this, I'm going to quit. You think the fatigue I was under with walking all that, not eating, and it's always going to happen if you're stripping down body fat, especially if you get to you know, lower numbers, there's going to be a lot of doubt. And it's okay to have doubt. And I think it's good to acknowledge it. Because every day I would doubt myself, think about quitting, but it just never happened. Because what most of the thoughts are, most of the doubts, they're just thoughts. And if you just let them go with you, can I do this? Why am I doing this? I'll never be able to stick to this. If you just let them come in your thoughts, straight out your thoughts, that's all you need. You don't need to give them credit or seriousness. My thought always was, what I was touching on, is I'll decide about quitting this diet after I've had dinner. I'll decide about quitting this diet after I get home. Not during it. But I think a lot of people beat themselves up for not being motivated the whole way through. It's, it's a fallacy, that is. You don't need to be motivated the whole way through. You will have ups. You will have downs. You will have a lot of doubts. The key thing is continuing. If you just keep going, you'll find that before you know it, those doubts disappear. And before you know it, you'll see some results. It might be three days, it might be six days away. And you see the result, and that gives you the lift to say, man, I knew I shouldn't lift into those doubts. And then you repeat that pattern. And then you see more results, more doubts. And you keep that going. And before you know it, you'll create a spectacular body transformation.